ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbatahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghali na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Our first daily winner and high scorer, SDI Caloacan IT student Neb, counts playing online games and playing guitar and bass as hobbies. Nick is a student of National University in Fairview, studying Bachelor of Arts in Communication. K-drama fan din siya and she also paints and listens to music. Angel is studying Engineering Technology at TUP Manila. She likes to dance, paint, play badminton, and listens as well to K-pop groups. And of course, we also have Cyril, na isang IT student from Datamex College of St. Adeline who loves watching BL series. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Glessie Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Satelian, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. Hey guys, can you tell me what you think about your chances for winning this week's competition? Simulan natin sa yun, I think there is a 25% chance para to be fair na <laughs> sa apat kami. <laughs> sa bagay. Ikaw, Nick, ano masasabi mo? Um, I think po ano, feel ko matatalo nila ako. <laughs> Bakit naman? <laughs> Wala po, magaling po ako mag-feel eh. Okay. <laughs> Ikaw, Angel? Ano po, 50-50 lang po. 50-50. How about you, Cyril? Parang 100%. Parang kaya ko po sila ang talon nila. <laughs> Yun! Have <laughs> confidence. Okay, syempre magkakaalaman tayo as we go into our first round. So get ready to buzz in. Hopefully with correct answers which are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. Welcome to round one. Question number one. Which Filipino won the gold medal in the men's pole vault at the 2023 Asian Games? Uh, EJ Obiena. EJ Obiena is correct. Pay check. Question number two. In what present day province is the birthplace of Manuel L. Quezon located? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Aurora. Question number three. What is the third largest city in Italy that prides itself as the birthplace of pizza? Nick. Rome. Rome is Malay. Anyone would like to steal? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Naples. Question number four. The most expensive film to produce was released in 2015 and costs more than 400 million US dollars to make. Complete the title of this movie. Blank, The Force Awakens. Net. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. The answer is Star Wars. That is correct. Hey, check. Question number five. Which female singer made the news recently after reaching a settlement in Spain to avoid a tax trial? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Shakira. Question number six. In mythology, which son of Zeus saved Andromeda from a sea monster and beheaded the Gorgon Medusa? Angel. Poseidon. 
Poseidon is mali. Hercules. Hercules Hercules is mali. Steel. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Perseus. Question number seven. Which United States president turned 81 years old last November? Uh, uh, Obama. Obama is mali. Cyril. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is mali. Angel. President, former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Duterte is mali. <laughs> USA. Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is the current president of USA, Joe Biden. Okay, question number eight. Known as the Blade Runner, which South African sprinter has won six gold medals at the Paralympic Games despite having both feet amputated before the age of one year? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Oscar Pistorius. Question number nine. What very popular beverage is obtained from the leaves of Camellia sinensis plant? Uh, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola so is mali. Sprite. Sprite is mali. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Coca-Cola, by the way. <laughs> Next. Pero pang gusto mag-steal. <laughs> Kompletohin yun. <laughs> okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is T. Leave. <laughs> okay pa kayo? <laughs> okay. Next question. Number 10. In mental math, what number is one half the sum of 12 and 24? Uh, two. Two is mali. Angel. 18. 18 is correct. Okay, check. Okay, question number 11. What is the name of the road in New York City, formerly known as High Street, and is now known as the heart of the American theatrical industry? Broadway. Broadway is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Which female singer started her era's tour in March? Cyril. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Are you sure? Yes. That's correct. Okay, check. Okay, that ends round number one. After that round, we have Cyril in the lead with 30 points. Okay, followed by Neb and Angel tied at 10 and Nick with 0. Ready na ba kayo for round 2? Ready na! Yes! Okay, susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo sa ating scores. Nangunguna pa rin si Cyril with 30 points. Tied naman sa next uh, place sila Neb and Angel with 10 points. At si Nick kahabol pa siya sa ating next round. Now on to round 2. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Welcome to round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Which president of the Philippines was born in Cebu in 1878? Uh, Neb. Okay. Blanco. 
Oh, okay na mental block siguro si Neb. Meron bang gusto mag-steal? Philippine President? Born in Cebu. Nick. Emilio Aguinaldo. Emilio Aguinaldo is mali. Cavite siya. Meron bang gusto mag-steal? Okay. Time's up. The correct answer is Sergio Osmeña. Okay, question number two. What common nickname is shared by the University of the East men's basketball team and Golden State in the NBA? Uh, Dub Nation. Dub Nation is Malik. Cyril. Warriors. Warriors is correct. Okay, check. Mukhang pinapanindigan mo yung sinabi mo kanina. Okay, number three. He was nominated twice for the U.S. Academy Award for Best Actor, but lost both times. However, he has won Best Director twice for Unforgiven and Million Dollar Baby. Who is this Hollywood superstar? Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Clint Eastwood. Okay, number four. In what city can you find an iconic opera house completed by an Australian architectural team headed by Peter Hall? Cyril. Sydney. Sydney is correct. Okay, check. Number five. Named after its 14th century founder, which empire based in modern-day Turkey controlled a part of Eastern Europe until the 20th century? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Ottoman Empire. Question number six. What is the name of the spacecraft that Yuri Gagarin piloted in the first manned space flight in 1961? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Vostok or Vostok 1. Question number 7. In 1849, which Spanish Governor General decreed the adoption of Spanish surnames among the Filipinos for census purposes? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Narciso Claveria. Question number eight. Which city? of 1.6 million people in Arizona, USA, set a temperature record of 110 degrees Fahrenheit for one month in July 2023. Texas City. Texas is Malik. Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Phoenix. Okay, question number nine. Known as British First Scientist, this Oxford University scholar first developed the magnifying glass in the 13th century. Who is this Franciscan friar? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Roger Bacon. Question number 10. In 350 BC, the first instance of a star that suddenly increased greatly in brightness because of a catastrophic explosion was recorded. What do you call this phenomenon? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is supernova. Question number 11. In 2015, which spin-off of Despicable Me became the highest grossing comedy film up to that time? Okay, the answer is Minions. Nobody got the correct answer. Final question for this round. Okay, number 12. From the Latin phrase for cooked earth, 
What is the material that made up sculptures of soldiers depicting the armies of the first emperor of China? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is terracotta. Okay, so that ends our round number two. Great job, contestants. Let's see how you did in that round. So, Cyril is still leading with 70 points. Parakpakan natin siya. Pinapanindigan mo yung sinabi mo kanina. Sinusundan tayo ni Angel with 10 points. At si Nick with negative 10. At si Neb naman with negative 20. Okay, extreme tayo ha. Pero pwede pa kayong humabol dahil hindi pa tapos ang lahat. Ang susunod na ay ang ultimate pagalingan. Sa pagbabalik yan ng... Okay, check! Welcome back to k -Check. Recap muna tayo ng mga points natin. Cyril pa rin ang nangunguna with 70 points. Susundan ni Angel with 10. Si Nick, negative 10. At si Neb, negative 20. And now, it's the expert's turn to play Quiz Masters in our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At sa ating panel of experts, Sa kanila po magagaling ang mga katanungan para mas exciting. This is it guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Welcome to K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Simulan na po natin. Prof. Yesi, go ahead. Yes, hello. Uh, sa cultural scene, this theater group bagged the Ramon Magsaysay Award for Literature because of their pioneering work in creating and popularizing socially relevant plays. What is the name of this theater group? Letter A, Peta. Letter B, Pieta. Letter C, Petal. Letter D, Tanghalang Tagalog. And letter E, Teatro Porvenir. Cyril. A, Peta. Itinatag ang Peta noong 1967 sa pangunguna ni Cecil Guidote upang magsulong ng National Theatre Movement at hanggang ngayon ay aktibo sa paggawa ng mga social relevant plays. The correct answer is letter A, PETA or the Philippine Educational Theatre Association. K, check! Congratulations! Next! What term was used by the Spaniards to refer to indigenous communities that were outside of their colonial settlements? affected by their policy of reduction. A. Indios B. Infieles C. Moros B. Tribos Independientes E. Salvaje no. uh, Letter A. Indios The answer is wrong. <laughs> Reduction ang tawag sa sapilitang pagpapalipat ng mga sinaunang Pilipino sa lugar kung saan matatagpuan ang simbahan at plaza na ipinatayo ng mga Espanyol. Tawag nila sa mga napasailalim sa reduksyon ay Indio. Tinutukoy ng sagot para sa tanong ito ang mga sinaunang Pilipino na hindi napasailalim sa patakarang reduksyon. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, infieles. Thank you, sir. Next question. Which organelle is responsible for the synthesis of proteins in a eukaryotic cell? A, mitochondrion. B, Golgi apparatus. C, endoplasmic reticulum. D, ribosome. E, cell membrane. Letter A, mitochondria. Mali. Nobody got the correct answer. 
This organelle links together the building blocks of proteins, the amino acids. The correct answer is D, ribosome. Thank you, ma'am. Next question, please. What was the first film produced by a Filipino? Letter A, Dalagang Bukid. Letter B, Miss Saigon. Letter C, Sakabukiran. Letter D, Sangang Nangabali. Or letter E, Tampalasan. Sorry. Letter B, Miss Saigon. The answer is wrong. Nick. Letter A, Dalagang Bukid. Ito ay ginawa ni Jose Nepomuceno noong 1919 at tampok si Atang Delara. The answer is correct. Nauna na tayong gumawa ng pelikula bago mag-miss Saigon. Meron na tayong dalagang bukit. Letter A. Thank you ma'am. Sir, Check. next question please. Congratulations by the way. Who was the first Muslim to bring his faith to the Philippines in the 13th century? A. Abu Bakar B. Raha Baginda C. Sheriff Kabungsuan D. Tuan Masyayka E. Sultan Kudarat Neb Letter E. Sultan Kudarat The answer is wrong Angel A. Abu Bakar The answer is wrong Okay, time's up Sa Sulu, pumunta ang pinaniniwalang unang Muslim na pumasok sa bansa. Kinikilala siya bilang unang bumuo ng pamayanang Muslim sa ating archipelago noong 1200s. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Tuan Masyayka. Which phenomenon refers to the melting of polar ice caps and glaciers due to rising temperatures? leading to rising sea levels. A. Ocean acidification. B. Permafrost thawing. C. Glacier retreat. D. Sea ice decline. E. Global warming. Siren. Letter E. Global warming. Mali. Neb. Uh, per letter B. Permafrost thawing. Mali. The answer is C, Glacier Retreat. She was the first actor to do the iconic role of Darna in the 1950s. What is the name of this female actor? Letter A, Rosa del Rosario. Letter B, Vilma Santos. Letter C, Dolly De Leon. Letter D, Nanette Medved. And letter E, Lisa Soberano. Angel. Vilma Santos. The answer is wrong. A, Rosa Del Rosario. Letter A, Rosa Del Rosario is correct. Congratulations. Next question. According to the 2020 Philippine Census of Population and Housing, which of the following is the region in Mindanao that considers Ilonggo as a key ethnicity? A. Davao region B. Northern Mindanao C. Soxargen B. Sablanga Peninsula E. Barm Maraming may lahing ilonggo sa Mindanao ay matatagpuan sa rehiyong ito. Mayorya ng populasyon sa Coronadal, ang sentro ng rehiyong ito ay may malaking bilang ng mga ilonggo. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Sok Sargent. Thank you sir. Next question ma'am. What is the term for alternate forms of a gene that occupy the same locus on homologous chromosomes. A. Genotype. B. Phenotype. C. Allele. D. Mutation. E. Transposon. The 
correct answer is C, Alil. Thank you, ma'am. Next question, po. This migratory fish, is that is the center of the Batanes people's yearly ritual called May Vanu Vanwa. What is the name of this fish? Letter A, Torado. Letter B, Bangus. Letter C, Tilapia. Letter D, Salmon. And letter E, Tanige. Ang dorado fish o kung minsan ay tinatawag nila sa lokal na pangalang arayu. Ang sagot ay letter A. Arayu. Thank you po. Next question, sir. What was the bronze age culture in northern Vietnam from 1000 BCE until the first century CE? A. Boxon B. Dongson C. Funan D. Wabin E. Loyang Cyril Letter D. Haubing The answer is wrong Lumaganap ang kulturang ito sa malaking bahagi ng Timog Silangang Asya Bihasa mga tao sa kulturang ito sa pagtatanim ng palay at domestikasyon ng baka at baboy. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Dongson. Thank you, sir. Next question. Who is recognized as the father of Philippine marine science for his extensive contributions to marine biology and fisheries research in the Philippines? A. Angel Alcala B. Edgardo Gomez C. Gavino Trono D. Porfirio Alinho E. Dado Banatao He was named a National Scientist in 2014. He is known for building sanctuaries and promoting biodiversity in the aquatic ecosystems of the Philippines. He is none other than A. Angel Alcala. Thank you so much. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Cyril, our K-Check VP winner. Congratulations. Congratulate, congratulate. Okay. So, ang kanyang final score po ay 85 points. Just receive a gift pack courtesy of TVUP. And we'll see Cyril again in the semi-finals. Congratulations! When he competes with our other weekly winners. Thanks to Neb, to Nick, and to Angel for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Blessy, palakpakan natin sila. Professor Neil, and Professor... Marla. Once again, I am Jules Giang. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check.